Well, hello, stampers. It's the Pampered Stamper, Jackie Bolcher, coming from Scravazon, the Netherlands. It's a bit confusing because I am a Canadian demonstrator, um, but also a Dutch demonstrator. So that is quite a unique position, and I, I love it because it really tells the story of my life, which you can read about in Stories and Stamps. And this is actually Tuesday, which means it's time for another Stories and Stamps video. So it's actually stories and dies today because I'm going to share with you three of my favorite new dies from the annual catalog. And I think they're pretty awesome. And the story I'm going to share with you today is the story of Stampin' Up! incentive trips. What are they? What makes them special? And um, what does it say about Stampin' Up! So I think it's a pretty great story to tell. But let's first take a look at the dies. Okay. Oops, that didn't work. Let's try again. Okay, so the first dies, and these are the ones that I'm actually going to use in today's cards, is called Split Card Textures Dies 159162. And I've put them on a, mag a magnetic sheet. So you get this one that is kind of a, a window pane grid, and this one is more of a geometric. So that's the first set of dies that I absolutely love because they help you make a fancy card with very little work. The next dies that are a little more subtle but just fantastic are the deckled rectangle dies. And so I've cut some out. Here they are. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of them. They nest together and they look like the edges of those old fashioned photographs and they give a little bit of a um, embossed edge too. So they're really nice. I think they will be fun um, sponged and you can also cut one and make a frame. You could make a deckled frame out of them. So I'm really excited to um, make some cards with that. And then the last one is the fancy frames dies. And at the end of the video, maybe I'll show you the cards I made with the fancy frame dies. Oops, that's upside down. Here we are. So there's two of them. And separate them a little bit. These are also beautiful. So again, what these dies do is that they make it really easy for you to make a fancy, fancy card without doing very much work at all. So are we ready to get stamping? Now be sure to hit the red subscribe button on my video and then you will um, not miss anything. So what I'm doing for this card, I have it already cut out with the die cutting machine. This is a full card front, so it's four and a quarter by five and a half and I'm putting it on an early espresso card and this is eight and a half by five and a half scored at four and a quarter so I'm just gonna go and put this right on here and I've left you can see I've left a few little squares in there I think that kind of looks nice so what I'm going to do is I'll just take that little junk off the end there that's important to clean off the tip of your liquid adhesive not that you needed to see that but had to be done <clears throat> I'm just going to put a bead right along here and I'm not going to put any adhesive on that fancy little grid part I'm just going like so and it's actually going to be warm weather in Holland now I can't remember if I was doing it this way I think so I'm going to do it with the big part at the bottom and if you've been following me regularly then one of my tricks is here is the die the stamp set that I'm going to use and my trick is to keep a little baggie well I didn't put it I must not have had a baggie I've kept all my stamped images extra stamped images extra die cuts um, some of these are stamped and the ones I'm going to use today, we used to have paper that also coordinated with this stamp set. That paper is now retired, but I'm sure that if you've been with Stampin' Up! for a while, you might still have some of this paper. So I have kept a bunch of these things, and we're going to make a little scene on the bottom. And then the other thing that I've kept is a whole whack load of these sayings stamped and ready to go. So the saying is from Charming Sentiments, and I did that last week. I think you can see um, the video on that. And Lisa Curcio has a thing on her blog where you can um, print off something to put your dies on. So that I just wrote it all in here, and I, I did a little 
trace around so that I knew what they were for. But apparently she has something on her blog, so you can check that out because she designed this stamp set. But here are my little baggies with all the sayings. These are in black, these are in brown. And then when I need a saying, I don't have to stamp one. I already have them all ready to go. So I'm just, what. so what I do is I take my pieces and I'm just going to lay them out and see how I want to do this. So it just looks so nice. And I think I want that one like so, and then this one maybe in between. So first what I'm going to do is just put each piece together, each pot together, and then I can play around with how they're going to go. Just so. I like it that it kind of goes over the corner of the pot, makes it a little bit more real. And so you can see that this was cut from pattern paper. I might have some more of this paper at home. So maybe someone lucky will get some a sampler of this paper. Let me know if that is something that would excite you. So comment for your chance to win, random winning. Now I won't be home till August, so you'll have to be patient about your potential win. So these two are stamped, okay? And I'm going to put the adhesive on the back of this one. So it's just really nice to do some work ahead of time and to make your stamping easier. There. So now I'm going to lay them out. So, and maybe I like this one. No. See the plants, you know, you group your plants. So you want to make it look natural. You don't want them all in a row like a bunch of soldiers. There. I like that. Okay, so that means this one's going to go on first and we'll pop one other up so that we have a little bit of dimension. There. And this one will pop. Get some. I don't have any big ones, so I'm going to have to use some little guys. I probably do have larger dimensionals. Okay, I'm supposed to be telling you a story about Stampin' Up! Incentive Trip. So as a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, um, we sell Stampin' Up! products and we teach people how to make cards and boxes and scrapbook pages. And the idea is that we earn our living by selling. You know what? I'm not going to make you watch all that. No, I'm going to go like so. So we earn, our, well, we earn our living by selling Stampin' Up! products and teaching classes. And you know what? I think I have a dud here. Oh, maybe not. They're coming off. And so Stampin' Up! as a business wants to give us an incentive. They want to give us a reason to want to sell a lot for them because that's what keeps their business going. So what they do is every year they have an incentive trip. Now it is less than 1% of Stampin' Up! demonstrators that earns this trip. So that's important to know. You really do have to have, um, you need to work hard. You need to have some luck, I think too, and timing and just, there's all so many factors involved. But it's wonderful to have that opportunity. And I was a Stampin' Up! demonstrator for a while before I even realized that, yes, this could be something that I could do. And I love to travel, but I had no idea that a Stampin' Up! trip would be so amazing. So what they do is if you earn the trip about a month or so before you go, they send you a package. Oh, I need to switch this now so you can see what I'm doing. They send you a package in the mail with um, luggage tags, with really fun themed luggage tags, um, name tags, and a small gift of some kind that's appropriate, which um, could be, sometimes it's been a wallet in the past, it's been um, a little uh, bag that goes over the shoulder that you can keep all your stuff in. It's just a lot of fun, and that builds excitement for, you know what, I'm going to put this under here, I think. Yeah, and then we'll pop this up. Anyway, it builds excitement for going on this amazing trip. The other thing that makes Stampin' Up! so special is that the Stampin' Up! trip is not just for one person, it's for two people. And I have learned that, just because now that Gerard's in Holland, they will fly your person, your guest, in from anywhere. How amazing is that? You don't even have to live in the same town or be in the same country. 
So that was um, really neat. So I'm just going to put this here. Isn't that just such a nice card? Yeah, I love it. Okay, we're going to do one more. So what else can I tell you about the Stampin' Up! trip? So it varies. One year the Stampin' Up! trip is a, a land trip, which means it's on land. It's a, um, a resort of some kind. And the other year, <clears throat> it's a cruise. Okay, so I have to think now. This saying that I'm using on this card is from Friends Are Like Seashells. I'm so happy that this set is still around because it has so many nice words. Really, really nice words. Um, and the thing is, I'm using this, and even though there's no seashells on my card, happy birthday to my beautiful friend is what I'm going to use. Okay, I need to think and gather my thoughts. Okay, thoughts have been gathered. Um, I'm going to use polished paint to do the saying, and we're going to use the stamp apparatus. So let's pretend that, well, it doesn't really matter. So the Stampin' Up! trip, you're all ready to go. Every year it's a different location. Um, sometimes we get asked for input, and, and yeah, so that's really, really cool. The thing is, when, once you get to your location, and they take care of everything for you. So you get your itinerary also in that welcome package. I'm going to stamp this first. Maybe we'll do it like this. And it tells you exactly what the plan is every day. There's also contact information, and trust me, this is super important, that in case something goes wrong in your travels, they will be there to help you. And we did miss a flight once to Alaska. And um, Stampin' Up! helped us all the way. And it's the only time I've ever flown first class because they could only, the next flight that they could get us on was, uh, the only place left on it was first class. And we didn't have to pay for anything. They, they put us up in hotels. They, we had to fly on a small airplane to get to Alaska to meet the cruise ship. They were amazing. They paid for all our extra food. Oh, but anyway, if that we just, that's how we really found out how amazing Stampin' Up! is, was, continues to be. They really take good care of us. Oh, look how nice that is. Anyway, once, once you get to your um, cruise ship or land destination, they always have a special place on board on board or on in the in the resort that is a gathering place for demonstrators and it's all beautifully set up it has a whole plethora of snacks and just take a look at this for a minute you see this this was left in the sun with one of my templates for the stamp apparatus and it totally got um, faded in the sun so never leave your cardstock in the sun but since I'm covering this all up it's still good to go and this is blushing bride under here okay so we're gonna just do this so Stampin' Up! has this room, and that's where we gather, that's where we get to meet fellow demonstrators, that is where we get to hobnob with the owners of the company, with the board of directors. So it's a great way that we get to have our voice heard too. We get to talk about the business, we get to talk about challenges, we get to see faces um, behind the names, and it's really special that we also get to talk to the directors of the company. So that kind of transparency is pretty amazing. Um, in the in the in that uh, gathering space, there is um, there's always a treat. There's all kinds of treats. There's um, yeah things to make us happy. There's places to sit, and there's also a thing where we get to spin and win. We get to win product from the upcoming new catalog that we can't buy yet. So that's always exciting. Now these flowers, these die cut flowers, are from the Hues of Happiness bundle, which is right here. So you can see they've die cut flowers as well. Um, there's all the beautiful paper. Let me just open this up to show you. Here you can see the paper, and there's a stamp set, and then there's dies that cut out your stamped images or the images from the beautiful paper. So that's Hues of Happiness, 158828. So I had, the, this is again a case where I have been playing with this set, and I had these die cuts all ready to go. So that makes it quite happy. And then what I do when I'm making my card is I just sort of lay them out to see how do I want to, to do this. And I'm just, I want to just make a whole plethora of flowers. And I don't know if I need this extra one. We'll see. And then some, some leaves. And then I'll put it all together. Maybe this one will go here. Just a little pop of green is nice. There. That looks nice. I like that. 
Okay, now I have to kind of remember how it went. We'll see. We'll see how I do. I'm just going to put adhesive in the middle of the flowers, and that way if I have to tuck anything in, I've got some wiggle room. So that's a really nice thing. And then we only have one, people always ask, well, when you go on a Stampin' Up! trip, do you have to stamp all the time? Like, do you, are you working? And the answer is no. There's only one meeting that we are required by law because Stampin' Up! it's a business trip, right? So for Stampin' Up! it's a business expense. For us, it's um, deductible income. It's a bonus, so to speak. And, but at that one meeting that we have on the first, the second day, so it usually starts on a Sunday, and then, let's have a look, see. Oh, now I forget completely how I did this. Well, it doesn't matter, I suppose. Hmm. Maybe we'll put this one in behind. Anyway. You can see how the creative process, you probably think, no, Jackie, that's not how you had it. And I'm just, you can see that I'm just pushing up the edges a little bit. And I'm going to leave that one right there underneath. The nice thing is that at that first meeting, we get told how the business is doing, what is the state of Stampin' Up! And the guest gets a gift. So if our guests show interest in, in, in what Stampin' Up! is doing, they get rewarded by getting a present. Gerard still, he hasn't been yet, but I've saved this for him. I saved it for him from another trip. He um, he got a, a Stampin' Up! logo t-shirt, and he wears it with great pride. Okay, I'm going to pop this one up. And so that's really nice. And it's just what's... And then the other thing that Stampin' Up! does is they don't give us run-of-the-mill rooms. On a cruise, we all get a balcony room. I remember the first time it was so impressive. You really get so spoiled and it, it's just amazing and on a resort you get this huge room with a with also with a balcony with a great view and um, and then every night you get pillow gifts every night you come back to your room and there's a surprise waiting for you in this we're just like kids right we love surprises at least I do so I'm just gonna put that one there and I'm going to tuck another leaf in I think like so here so, all right. Um, so, Stampin' Up! trips are amazing because we get to connect with other demonstrators that we that we see their work, but we don't get to see them in person. And it's so nice being with people who share your passion and your lifestyle and your work. So, isn't that pretty? And I totally forgot. You know what? I wanted it to go up a little bit more. So maybe I'm going to do one more. Tuck it like so with a little bit. That's nice. Oh, you know what? I don't even have to glue that down. And I thought it might be fun to, to do this with a blend. And I should put something underneath here. I do this so I don't make a mess. And then I, I'm not done my story. I know I'm forgetting something. So stay with me. There. How cute is that? Doesn't that just make it? That little speckle? Such a neat trick. Okay, so take a look at my cards. Here. And then don't forget, I'm going to show you the other ones with the other dies that I like so much. And what have I forgotten to tell you? Yes, the pillow gifts. There's also, um, they do a fancy evening once that we we get a, a dessert buffet. Um, again, it's a hobnobbing thing. We all get dressed up. It just feels so fancy. We When we were in Thailand, they did a whole themed um, party. And it was really neat with all the Thai people in traditional costumes and traditional Thai food and music. And it was it was really, really nice. We also get a welcome event so that when we come, they have live music. Um, again, we get to see people. It's, it's just so much fun. And everybody has their name tags on. So it's a really great way to just feel like you're part of one big happy family. And uh, I just love it. I can't wait for Gerard to come on the Norway trip. I haven't earned it yet, but I'm going to earn it. And I'm super excited about that. And I thank you for your support in that. Um, it's just, it's. I really want him to, this is finally the pinnacle of him tasting what my world is really about. What How amazing Stampin' Up! is and to meet all the other people who I've come to know over the years. It's really special. Lately, they've also given us excursions so that we all get to do something fun together like a boat trip or or yeah, who knows what it could be 
in Thailand, we all went in these little, we went on a big boat together to this little island, and then we all went into these tiny little, row, not rowboats, but, um, well, actually, it was a rowboat, and we didn't have to do the rowing, someone else did. Um, it was really, really nice. And then the last thing they do that makes it really special is that your door, whether it be on a cruise ship or on a, in a resort, has a big board hanging from it with your name on it. Just like a movie star, you know, when you, I mean, I've never been to Hollywood, but I understand they have their own little trailers and they, their name on your door. And it just, it's just those little things that make you feel super special. So the Stampin' Up! incentive trips have allowed me to travel places where I might never have gone otherwise. So I promised to show you cards with the fancy frames, guys. And here they are. So I made these, um... I'm actually, I'm making this. I'm making this on Wednesday in my um, stamping through my stash. So if you want to see this card made on Wednesday, here they are. I forgot because I pre-recorded it. So they're actually simple cards. That the, the the fancy frames really do all the work for you. And so I will have the links for the, um, the products in my YouTube video. There's a little, there's a couple little words right underneath. Like if you see the video and then underneath, like there'll be a little picture of me. And then right, there's words right underneath there. It says more dot, dot, dot. Click on the more and a whole other world opens up to you. I, I write a little story, I write a little description and um, I make it, I try to make it easy for you to shop with me because I have totally transformed my business to... Let me just put these here again so you guys can see them. You can always take a screenshot or look it upside down. That's not what you want. This is embossed. And yeah, so I've totally transformed my business so that it is completely online. I've focused on doing YouTube videos and I just hope that if you see, if you like what you see and you want the supplies that you'll order from me. The bonus in doing so is that you get a beautiful 15 or 16 project PDF tutorial bundle from me as a thank you. So I try to do things to help you and to make it worth your while to give you added benefit um, that's easy to do from anywhere in the world. So thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you enjoyed this session of stories and stamps. If you have any questions or ideas for topics for me, please let me know and I will be happy to, uh, to answer or tell a story about it if I can. All right, have a super day. And thanks for following me and uh, subscribing to my channel. Bye.